Congratulations, Carrie. You win a cocktail. So this has been fun. Uh, while we've been listening to the lovely strains of Bland Lemon Denton, Carrie and I have been chatting about what she wants in a cocktail. So we put something together. It turns out she's a fan of the French 75. And so we're going to do a bit of a riff on the French 75 for her. And we're going to call this Carrie's 76. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to start with a shaker. Shaker. Shaker top. And then we are going to go with... Oop, I need my recipe. That would help. <laughs> that would help. Three quarters of an ounce of just simple syrup. So this is not infused. This is just a two to one rich simple syrup. So three quarters of an ounce. So that's two part sugar, one part water. Three quarters of an ounce. And then we need a half ounce of lemon juice. And so far, this looks like the beginnings of a build for a French 75. So half ounce fresh squeezed lemon juice. Right there. Next up, we need our spirit. And so what kind of spirit are we going to use? Well, French 75 calls for gin, right? Ah, that's where you might be wrong. So there's some early records that indicate that some of the earliest French 75s might actually have been made with cognac. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do one ounce of cognac in this. One ounce of cognac. For those of you that might be wondering, what is this French 75 that you talk about? The French 75 is a cocktail uh, that came out of World War I, was named after the French 75 artillery piece, which was so utterly devastating. And uh, so the drink has a lot of punch to it, uh, packed a lot of punch, and so they named it the French 75. Um, also, it gets the French 75 moniker, because usually this is topped with champagne, and of course, French cognac, the two of those go together, and you have the French 75. So what we're going to do is just take those three ingredients and we are going to shake them up with some ice. There's some ice. There's some more ice. I'm going to call that good. Now, the little secret ingredient that I didn't tell Carrie when I was making this was I was going to add one bar spoon of green chartreuse to this. And this will give it a nice vibrant color and adds just a little bit of a botanical component to it, herbal component. Not a flowery component, an herbal component. There we go. Okay, so we're going to shake this up. And so far, this is just a French 75 with a dash of chartreuse added to it, but it's a French 75 made with cognac instead of gin. All right, there we go. Now, we have just created a whole bunch of... Uh, I was going to say glass shards, ice shards in this cocktail, and we don't want those in the final drink. So we're actually going to double strain this into a glass. Now the French 75 is traditionally served in a champagne flute, but it turns out that Carrie's a big fan of octopus, octopi, octopuses. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some of my favorite glassware. So this is sort of a martini glass, but it's got tentacles on it. So this one goes out to you. Set that right there. We're going to double strain this. See if I can find my strainers. Oh, yeah, my jellyfish uh, are kind of in the way, but that's all right. It'll all be fine. So we're going to strain this in. And then we are going to add 
they're going to top this off. Normally with a French 75, you would be topping it off with champagne, but sometimes the bubbles can be a little aggressive with champagne. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a light effervescent wine, uh, not at all similar to champagne. This is a Vino Verde, so it is out of Portugal. And this is Gateo, which means cat in Portuguese. And well, turns out Carrie's a big fan of cats, so that works out well as well. So we're just going to top this off just like that, all the way up to the wash line. There we go. And for the garnish, we're just going to do a little twist of lemon. We're just going to hang that right off the edge, just like that. And it should look remarkably similar to this one, which has settled just a bit. So Carrie, this is to you. This is your cocktail, which is dripping all over my bar mat, the Carrie 76. I think that works. I think we're good.